Hey everybody, this is Gaming Ultimatum. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the last episode, we got past the third gym, and now here we are in the fiery bath. Obviously, here in the fire fiery path, we're gonna run into a lot of fire types. Luckily our team is very powerful enough and will easily be able to handle this place. But that will go to level 21 as well. You know, who would be more useful here? Good job. We could use that but we don't have the ability to use strength outside of battle, so we can't really do anything. We went to a wild Torkoal. So we'll use Razor Shell. It survived. To use Rapid Spin, which is a fairly weak move. If you hear noises, that's me drinking. Not alcohol, but a simple soda. Oh, but that admits we're good to level 22. Now we're on route 112. We can sneak past that guy to get these berries. We find some raspberries. No, no, wait. Let me get the last berry over here. And some person berries. All right, let's plant some berries. For some berries, recover confusion. So, pretty useful in battle. And raspberries... I did not read what it did. Let me read it again. They make Pokeblocks that will enhance coolness. Basically, they're just there to make more Pokeblocks. To make better cool and coolness Pokeblocks. But obviously, because I'm an emula I'm on an emulator and it runs the game very slowly. Yeah, no, we're not gonna really be doing that. Down here leads to actually that sandy path we would have been able to go on pretty easily, but we have to go, you know, shortcut. Run some trainers though. Show me how much you've toughened your Pokemon. We're now going to start running to Ace Trainers. We start off with a slight disadvantage with the Water Type against an Electric Type. But I think we'll be good. We're fairly high level. Of course we get paralyzed. Oh yeah, he was actually holding a Cherry Berry. I completely forgot I had that on me. But luckily we defeat the Electric before it could defeat Glitch Up. Racing grade to level 25 and this is bag on. We'll actually switch to Willow for this. Since the Glitch Up is very low on HP. Looks like he's going to focus on lowering our defense. And grass type moves aren't that effective. At least, let's at least get a few damages, damage in. I 
Once again, Will is still holding a cherry berry, so paralysis doesn't really last long on him. On her. Nexus tries to use bite. Which, because our defense has been lowered, is actually pretty strong. We just barely survive. And hit it with Fairy Cutter. Finishing it off. Terry, I could get to level 21 now. Next is going to send out Makuhita, so let's send out Teriyaki. I guess we'll use Flame Charge. Unless it does Fake Out, in which case it, we won't be able to do anything in one turn. Actually, Peck is more useful. He knocked off our cherry berry, which is not really that useful for him, considering we could just instantly defeat it right now. And there we go, we defeated Ace Trainer Wilton. Mostly we're just... Oh! I can smell it! I can smell it right here! The scent of adventure! This is definitely one. It's gotta be a secret spot! There'll be enough space here to build a crazy super place. Or my name's not Arun. Oh god, he looks tired. Yo, my young trainer. What can I do for you, hmm? Oh god, he's one of those guys who says young. Huh? What do you mean you didn't ask for anything? Bet your heart did. Now, now, no need to be shy. After all, we managed to meet. My name's Arun. Put her there. You never born and 25 years old. Spent the last 11 years trying to find myself just a vagabound in search by myself. Just a vagabound in search of dreams. I'm wandering around Hoenn trying to find a place where I really belong. That's right, a super secret face. You don't know about secret faces? What kind of life is that? Too sad, little bro. Time for a little lecture from Uncle Arun. Let's start with what a secret face is. It is which is adventure, romance, awesome. For real, it's the best place ever to chill. You and your pals that you let hang out. Since you got this chance, you ought to learn how to make one. Take this. We get the TM for secret power. Secret power can find, help you find the entrances to hidden places. These entrances, they're full of adventure, all right? That's why I throw some spice in there and call them secret spots. Like this, see? This right here is a secret spot. Does it look like you could just climb right up in this tree? This is exactly the kind of place to bust out with secret power. Oh yeah, I never get tired of that. And there's all, and that's all there is to finding secret spots and creating the entrance to a secret base. The move is crucial to have a secret base. Don't forget now. Man, this tree is a lot bigger on the inside. Mmm, not a bad layout. See behind each secret spot, you'll find a space like this. They come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. So basically, wherever you find a secret spot, you ought to at least check it out with secret power. Just think, someday this place could be somebody's secret base, all decorated and filled with goods and friends. I'd really love to see it like that. Wait a sec. But who in the world are you? Alright, Gamiel. Sorry about that, I just got on such a roll. So then, Gamiel, how about I give you one more tip? When you feel happy about something, you ought to express that feeling. Put it into words, and I'll cheer everyone. So, have it. Okay, it's one of those communication features. Let's just say yay. <laughs> yay? That's good. Know why I asked you that? Isn't it obvious? It's because I already see. I can see already that there's plenty of in your future to feel happy about. That's just how we roll in the secret base life. Everybody's full of happy adventures. Oh, yeah. Now, I could go ahead and make a secret base right here, but I get the feeling that this layout could be even better for you, little bro. Guess I'm gonna leave this spot for you. This is just, this will be a secret base from now on, little pal. It's yours now, so decorate, destroy it, do whatever you want. Whatever you vote, right? All right, decorating. See any decorations you get will be sent to your to the VC in your secret base automatically. Play some around and liven up your base a bit. Uh, 
that. There's a PC. That's where you'll find your decorations. Not that you probably have much, right? Here, I'll give these to get you started. Alright, one last thing. You can do more to make your own cigarettes. You can visit other people's bases for a bit of fun. If you find a base that belongs to someone else, check it out. Here's the real point. When you can check out someone's base, collect the flag of the you find next to the VC. <laughs> Something good might come of it. Looks like it's about time for me to hit the road in search of my perfect base. Goodbye for now, but hopefully I'll see you again in Gaming Alt. If you need anything, if you need me for anything, try dropping in and at the secret base guild in Fortry. So we get our first ever secret base. If I remember correctly, this was actually a feature in the main games. We can decorate our base to include all sorts of cool little things. Like, we can be really simplistic and do this. You can add- you can find things like mats, plants... Hell, there's even things like beds. There's- there's posts- there's all sorts of wall arts you can get. And you can even find some appliances. And of course, secret bases are actually useful for another thing. If you have a bed, you can do this! You basically get a free place to heal on a... on a route. Of course, if you find a new secret base, you have to get rid of your old one to make room for a new one. Hey, that can still be pretty useful. Quick, 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 quick. We found some Rost berries. Rost berries. And some Nana berries. Raspberries cure burns, and then the berries are for enhancing cuteness. I just recommend planting the berries that actually have useful effects in battle. Since if you ever come back here and you know, and get a bunch of the, these berries, you can make it so that you don't have to worry about sass sandwiches for quite a while. Always remember to water them because. It usually produces more if you water them. From what I've seen, at least. 113's over here, so let's head on forward. Oh, it's Bang. Hey! So here was pretty long, huh? I got tired enough that I had to take a little break. Game out, your Pokemon look pretty tired themselves. Let me take care of them for a sec. And of course, after we already healed them, we get another free heal. There, that's all better. I'm on my way to pay a visit to Professor Cosmo. He's famous for his research on meteorites. He was working on a project with my dad. Um, I mean Professor Birch on how meteorites might affect Pokemon. And if darling, I think it's not much harder to follow all of her. Let's give it one last push. And by one last push, we mean a lot more Pokemon battles. Both wild and non wild. Like, already right here, there's an automatic one we have to do. No, let's click glitch up on the front of the team. Can you guess why it's so cool around here? Youngster Neil. Now this is way easy, since ground type Pokemon actually have weaknesses to water. So he can just finish it off with one hit. Next he's gonna send out Electric, so let's switch that switch out for Mitra.
Were these guys planning on winning? I think you could take me. <laughs> Seriously, I'm for some reason thinking about every time I send out Lucario. Oh, Jaden learned double team. I can actually be kind of more useful than Thunder Wave a bit. And it still keep allows him to keep his coolness. Ew, that stinks. I seriously want to edit it every time I... I want to edit it so that every time Lucario is sent out, you just get the voice clip from Mithra and Smash Bros saying, Think you can take me? <laughs> It'd be a pretty funny idea. Of course, we're gonna run into a lot of wild Pokemon. Like over here, we run into a Spinda. I wonder, do I have any Pokeballs? He copies me for some reason. Oh, we have one Great Ball. Eh, let's, let's see if we get him. I just want to see. That was easy. Oh yeah, I might as well talk about the time I straight up caught... I actually caught an Abra with just one Great Ball by throwing it immediately. This is in my personal save, not on this save, so of course. So of course we're not gonna really... I can't really show you that now. We can, avo we can avoid some more trainer fights. Of course through this we'll possibly run into a lot more wild encounters but oh what's right here the glass workshop oh hey a max ether neat <laughs> we just straight up walked over it oh the suit sack Okay, that's pretty interesting. Does it actually fill it up automatically? Okay, sorry for that. I guess it does. I I never really seen how this works. I'll just take his word for it. Come on. Look the other way so I can just walk past you. Guess we'll pass by some of these spots. Oh, but we're already here. Just cross through here and we'll get to Fall of Bro Town. Here we go. Welcome to Fall of War Town. Immediately we can go to the Pokemon Center. Oh, hello. You are... Oh, you came here. I can see that you're a trainer. As soon as you used the Pokemon Store system, I developed. I arrived at that conclusion in a simply deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad you're meet to you. It's great you're using the storage system. If you could, please visit me at home. My house is on Route 114. And here's a cool detail. The name will actually change on someone's PC to Lynette's PC. So, pretty cool. How they allowed- they kept that little detail in. Prepare for another slowdown. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Let's see, how much- how much money do we have? Oh yeah, here we can see a 3D model of our trainer. And be our badges if we want.
Uh, what a disaster! Oh, give me all help! You gotta come with me! Uh, okay. You see, Professor Caso, you gotta identify some weird guys calling themselves Team Something or other. The shady characters, they call themselves Team Magma. It seems they plan to do something with the meteorite that the professor have been researching. The professor is just too gullible. If you if you show the least bit of interest in his research, he would have to go with you anywhere, without question. Game out, please, you gotta help me save him. They can't be planning to do anything good with Professor Cosmo's research. We have to do something. I, I'm going ahead after them right away. Let's meet up at Meteor Falls. I'm counting on you, getting well. Okay, I guess let's head to Meteor Falls. After a course is in the Pokemart. Oh yeah, Skitty. We'll buy we'll buy some more full heals. We'll have some more great balls. You have a contest place we can go to. And the Move Maniac. I'm guessing this is where that meteorite landed. No, it's the one crater in the game. The Fossil Maniac. Okay, he's now... All my Pokemon does is roar. No one dare comes near me. <sighs> if you would, please take the CM away. We get the TM for Roar, at least. Why fishermen? As long as we ignore them, we don't have to fight them. Over here we have Lynette's house, so we can go visit her. She wanted us to visit her, so here we go. Oh, give me up! I'm sorry everything is so clever. When I get engrossed in research, things end up this way. Sir, please keep this in a secret in exchange with us. We got a CDOT doll for our, our base. Pokemon Foul, Pokemon Handbook, Adorable Pokemon. Your storage system is quite convenient. It has a lot of user friendly features that make it fun and useful too. In fact, I played Spartan as well. Here's something that you'll continue to research in storage systems. Okay, so obviously, so it looks like someone helped her with the storage system. Map photos are displayed on the monitor. monitor. Map, no! <laughs> well, we're here, we run to this guy. <laughs> What the battle against my Pokemon? Literally, the Pokemaniac, Steve. I guess against Aaron, we'll use this Razor Shell. Oh, yeah, it is part ground type, so it has a weakness. Or was it part rock type? One of the types are also weak against water. Roar will forcibly switch our Pokemon to a different Pokemon. Oh, I didn't realize. Meteor Mash. You don't even get the opportunity to attack Pikachu. He too cool for you. Uh, our Pokemon are leveling up. My Pokemon!
Alright, Meta, smash the rock. Come on, don't tell us you made us fail the skill check. And this we got the wild encounter instead of a cool item. Anyway, razor shell. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sturdy. Hey, this means one thing. We can't beat him. Catch him. There we go. We got Geodude. I know I haven't been doing much capturing in this. But hey, I guess I could show you it now. And hey, we got a female variant, so that's pretty cool. Let's have here and grab this item. I got some protein. You guys, you guys are, where are you taking the professor? Hey, wait up. Looks like here over here. Please look the other way. Thank you. A lot of meteorites seem to have fallen here. Oh, there's an item over here. Let's grab it. You get some energy powder. Pretty neat. The best way is to usually see what their pattern is and then move sort of behind them. The best thing for him is simply find wait until he looks away. This guy is just on the edge to where he'll notice you, but Eve doesn't. Luckily. Here's Meteor Falls. Up here we can get a full heal. Pretty good. We run to a zoo bat. Let's head back down. And this is another one of the cutscenes that will change. The following thing will actually change depending on the, you know, game you're playing. Give it up, you bozos! Let the professor go! Huh? What? Whatever here? Why has this child suddenly appeared? Give me all you came! You have to save Professor Cosmo from these people. There are two of them, and two of us. Give up, please. Better to get with me. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Emil! <laughs> Isn't this amusing? Is it really your intention to oppose me, a Team Magma admin? Just the two of you? <laughs> very well, then. I'll show you how terrifying adults can be. <laughs> I'm going to give you some very thorough coaching. This will be my first time battling beside you, Gamil. I got to do my best. This time we're actually going to be going against two Team Magma members. A Grunt and an Admin. Both of them send out fairly good Pokemon. We both send out Water types, strangely enough. Mayena, of course, has to move Intimidate. Oh, I know. Razor Shell. He raised our attack, but it confused us at the same time. Oh god, no. Okay, they nearly killed us, but hey. 
That's one less Pokemon we have to worry about, I guess. I mean, seriously, now it's only- now it's two on one. We'll use a super potion on Glitchup. You got a critical hit on us, but... Luckily we can still do s Oh, luckily that time that water pulse confused him. For some, we'll eat this to get out of confusion. Unfortunately, her Wilmore is now defeated. And she now sends out her Shroomish. Hits itself with confusion damage and we'll hit it with a Razor Shell. Which of course, thanks to a swagger boosting our attack, well, it's a bit more powerful. But that glitch of goals is level 24. Racing level 26, Teriyaki level 22. He sends out Numel, who is a fire type, meaning he'll instantly die to this. Took out the Numel pretty easily. We took out about the. This is so strong! Huh? Huh? Unexpected development! We did it, Gaming Out! You children, I would like you to stay out of my way! Team Mapha's scientific prowess, Mount Chimney's energy, and the hidden power of the meteorite. If we combine them all, a super agent Pokemon! <laughs> you lost to this scrap! What a pathetic bunch! You lazy stooges will be the downfall of Team Magma! Who's there? We get introduced to the second evil team, technically the second evil team of the game. Yeah, even Team Bako is making an appearance. The odds do not appear to be in my favor. You there, I don't have the meteor right now. Yes, sir. Oh, I... Come on, hand over the meteorite. Ah! Professor! <laughs> the meteorite is in the palm of my hand. Oh, I'd use to each and every one of you. I last... At long last, I'm off to Mount Chimney. Archie, we will, we will go after those monsters. That's right, we're not letting them get away. Oh, what's this? You've got quite a fierce expression on you for such a wee little thing. The name's Archie. I'm the leader of Team Aka, a group that's working to return the world to its pristine state. One that will be perfect for Pokemon survival. Looks like you were getting into it, into it with Team Magma there, lest my eyes deceive me. It's... No, nope. it's not like I'm in a position to argue if that's what you're up to, hey? I'll, I'll tell you this much, so remember. If if you next get in the way of Team Aqua, you won't get off so lightly. So step clear and cl keep your nose clean, scamp. I imagine I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Obviously, in Alpha Sapphire, the scene would actually be switched. Where you would be fighting against Team Aqua and Team Magma would appear. Oh, bother. I have no idea what's going on anymore with all these people. Never mind those nuts. Professor, you doing okay? But, but they... I only... Looks like he's still pretty out of it. Gaming up? Never mind what happened. I've got to get back the professor back to his lab and follow more. Okay, professor. Easy now. Hopefully we're automatically taken back here, so we don't have to go through all those trainers. Uh, 
Ah, uh, Professor! Thank the stars above! Professor, you're back! <laughs> Thanks, see, children. I somehow I have somehow managed to return somehow returned. Those nuts back there. What do you think they're hoping to do with the professor's meteorite? When I look at them, they kinda seem like bad guys, but we both gotta be careful. Though I'm not worried a bit if it's you and your team gaming up. I need to take you as well. He truly saved me from disaster. I hope you'll take this team as some small form of repayment. TM Smackdown! Wow, thanks, Professor. Now, what are you gonna do next, Gamil? I'm thinking of checking out the next gym on my list. It's the one in Marvel City. Uh, sure. You arrived in Marvel City. Up here is Mount Chimney, huh? That's the place those Dungeons Me or Falls were talking about going to. Be careful, gaming all. It might get dangerous around here. Well, we already beat the gym here, so. I guess I can end things off here. So let's heal up. And save. Uh, next time on Pokemon Omega Ruby, we're gonna be, you know, heading towards the next gym. See you guys then.